Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to Pushover. So, we are at about level 70, 71, I would say. It's unfortunately kind of impossible without memorizing it to know where you are. Uh, because the main screen just doesn't tell you. We're deep into the cheating section, as it were. Um, there's just not anything I guess more to say other than that yeah I'm definitely deep deep into the cheating section um, and if any of these fell off the edge they would they would mess up so hmm I guess I probably didn't need to take this down with me but we'll see what happens. I could probably just leave that where it is. Hmm. Or I could take this all the way down either way. Let's hit that and let's see if that's everything that needs to happen. A lot of these puzzles really only kind of rely on the fact that they they exist that the, there's kind of nothing more to it than that it's just like yes this is a this is the layout that the game level started at and and as such you're you're not not really changing anything You have to go to the right here because there's no other way you can fall down and save yourself. This one's gonna fall here, so if I get rid of that, then where do I put this piece? Probably doesn't matter if it falls off the side of the screen. Um. But I now have to figure out how to get back all the way to the start point, which there is a solution to this. Just go this way. Yeah, you just kind of constantly are running into this arbitrary increased challenge because of the timer and arbitrary increased challenge because of just the complexity that they have added to the levels um, nope that won't work okay so we need something and I don't know what that something is Because I, I could potentially move almost anything anywhere to a different place. But almost anything needs to be where it is. And the one thing that's problematic is the thing under here where you can't reach it at all. So... Hmm. This would make a bridge. Yes, but we need bridges everywhere. Yep. I mean, I could try and push this out that way, I guess. And that might solve it. More and more this this game though with its its puzzles are, are melting my brain more than intriguing me. And yeah, I, I do think this was pretty much the experience I had with this game originally when I first played it. And it is definitely a testament to the nostalgia goggles, as it were, that there is just this level of uh, forgetfulness that I have as far as 
as whether or not the late game experience here was actually entertaining because uh, now as we're approaching it the the game is starting to just irritate me hmm I don't know what what happened there I still think the timer is the start of the mission. I still think moving this fixes a lot of problems. But then when you get up to this point, the bounce seems to be in the way. And how can we fix that? If I get rid of this, not matter we can try that and we have about 50 tokens so I can use tokens to reset to before I push if there's just like some small change that needs to happen but it resets you with just whatever remaining time you had so a minute 51 seconds and if you don't solve the puzzle in the time then you're you have to use yet another token and then it theoretically locks you out from the uh, it theoretically locks you out from the 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 quavers collectibles I am confused as to because you kind of need both solutions you need it to bounce and to bounce and then maybe you need this to just bounce and to bounce maybe that's the solution yeah that seems like that would make sense I would say compared to a unity puzzle game which there's plenty of these kind of half effort or just straight up low effort uh, unity puzzle games on Steam that just have a solid color background at least this game which is much older has the decency to pay somebody to change the background art every now and then and keep things looking different All right. Fourth time's the charm. And so that's level 73 that we're now on. But we've skipped two puzzles already. So. And I believe, if I was to guess, that the solution here not to take this per se but to take this one take this push it and then they're gonna delay their fall by quite a bit and then one is going to crash and the other is not gonna crash and then there's more crash down there and then more crashing down there. Okay, that is just a ton of stuff we're gonna have to move. Um, which means this is in the wrong place too. And let's see. Over here is in the wrong place. Also, I can't say I inherently hate the idea of half of the things being just in the total wrong place um, and half of the things being in the right place. I do think modern games though probably should should say like 
give you more time or say yes and lock in a few helpful things. Um, I feel like there should have been a lot more iteration and a lot more focus on each individual domino. Uh, had there been 25 to potentially 100, uh, like, had there been 25 to, to potentially 100 puzzles that were way more small and just very obvious and linear uh, per single domino type that would be nice like it, it would be fairly silly at the beginning to just have 20 puzzles where you have to move uh, only 20 of the standard dominoes but that that wouldn't drive me crazy either all right, that timer did nothing for me. Now that you're down to this point. So is the one that's floating up at the top something that we count as one that's not done? Okay. So get rid of the blocker. And then run up here and push this. And then down we go. And down we go. And now we wait. And we'll see if this works for us. Hmm. No, because I gotta get this to be the last one to stop. So I fixed everything except for that one move. down below because hmm. if I was to push this and then run down here and then run down here and then try and hit this like let's say I pick that up and then reduce the delay somewhat there it's still going to push the other thing faster. We need major, major delays. But there's no way to do that because look, if I fall down here, it's just going to crash into that. a delay here so that's not gonna change anything like what you'd have to change is over here this element and the floating thing actually doesn't have a real reason to exist at all at the current usage so I could get rid of this, but not easily. And you can come down here and drop that, but then there's no way back up.
The only thing I could think is maybe picking this up, then doing that. And then trying to run way over here and getting that in time to bounce it the second time, and that just seems insane. So many solutions do feel fairly insane, though. Hmm. I mean... You kind of have to have everything happen. Don't you? I mean, I don't know how that changes anything. Hmm. Hmm. What if we were to say, build something down here? something that would allow us to potentially ignore a lot of that. So we could start up there and then I need two down here. and then that's my push though so how could I get this piece because I was thinking I'd do something like that to then come up here and hit those and then it would have to land and it would miss these three in the middle hmm. you basically can't change anything I can add that there that literally does nothing I can pick up this piece, but once you pick him up, he is, it's stationary again. I guess I haven't shown that up until this point. I'm not sure there actually ever is a point in which that is the right solution, but it's, I guess, something to know exists. If there was a way to ensure that the domino would fall down and bounce back, I could do something there. But there isn't. Like if I push this, it just is going to fall straight down. And they know it. I could take this piece. I right. here's the problem though. That now crashes. So moving that piece out of the way like that's not useful. I can bounce that and like try and race it. 
but even if I tried to race it, I'd have to race it back this way. And then I'd have to ba bounce it back this way. Alright, well, forget that. That that one's not going to be doable, and we're just going to more and more have that be the case, where there are just straight-up puzzles that I'm not going to be able to figure out. Um... Uh, Why did the num lock go off, I wonder? Let's see. And that was the one we just were doing. That I just put the code in for. We need the one after that. Which would be 74. Six one five, and then I have to highlight OK and hit enter. Yep. There might be some catharsis in the general idea that this, this time for the maybe the first time, I actually am going to be capable of uh, solving a puzzle. Or solving most of these puzzles instead of just some of them. Okay. I think the trick here is probably something along this line. We push this, we make a hole. I've got to figure out where we want the holes to be at all future spots. And it's going to be tight. Hmm. So, I could probably buy myself some time by coming all the way over here, pushing this and then start running and then we want this to bounce and we want this to bounce and we want come on get it right get it right that and toss that and hopefully that will just not take so long so we just had to cut a diagonal hole on it that's kind of like a great example of a puzzle there very very few dominoes uh, very very few red herrings that you could potentially run into with three quarters of the way done with a lot of cheating so, yeah, there's, I feel like they want me to lock this in down here, and that'll give me some time to think about what I'm going to do with the rest of this puzzle. that I guess something like that Wow so close and yet fairly far away so we've got to get that one piece over here that one plain domino
and there's nothing we can do as far as moving forward and because if we jumped off either of the sides we would just die so we've just got to be ready for it to blow up then we've got to run and put this out of the way and then run and put this out of the way Probably, you know what, I could probably just ignore it and then do this, and then do this, and then not quite get it in the way, but, oh, that would have worked, that would have worked if I put it on the other side. Yeah, all of a sudden we're running into puzzles that definitely feel more simplistic, more better thought out. So it becomes like questionable as far as why are these in the 75th section when these kind of puzzles probably would be better in like the 30th step, uh, level 30. And in a funny way, so a lot of the low effort and medium effort Unity single screen puzzle games that exist also have hmm. uh, they also have like very little music where this game has at least one song that that is not super annoying. It's partially annoying, I would say, but not horrible. I feel like there should probably be more verbiage in the game. Things that, like, don't give up, keep trying, you're doing well. Little attaboys, little positive reinforcement things. Alright, All right, no. Got it. But this is one more of the puzzles that really had to be solved by your motion and your actions more than by solving a puzzle and putting the pieces in the right place and I, I kind of just don't believe that there's a large fan base of people that like puzzles like that uh, it yeah I, I don't know how to say it in any other way but yeah it does just feel like that's there's no target market for for a game that is going to be so heavily focused on um, on fast movement. Okay, I think I kind of understand what we have to do although there is some problems here I have to start this with this which means I have to rush to put this out of play which doesn't go up along there. Hmm. I didn't move the piece I needed to move.
Or this won't work. Oh man. This is way worse than it seems. There's just so much you have to do to have in the right place at a certain time. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to escape because right now the exit is an open hole, which means I have to come over here, grab this one, move this one over here, then fall back down, and we've only got a brief bit of time to get that back where it needed to be, and we didn't do it. So, attempt again. Ooh, a time slowdown mechanism, a time rewind mechanism, oh, that would, that would fix a lot of problems with this game. Yeah. Uh, I, I think we probably are at a point where you can make a domino pushover cl clone or, or remake and do a lot of things. But you would have to be fairly careful. And you would have to definitely not make the game anything like half of these puzzles. Because <laughs> this this is just not satisfactory gameplay at all. To, to know the solution to a puzzle and not be fast enough to put the puzzle in. Uh, particularly when you're talking about this is a DOS game, so like... I could theoretically, if I had memorized the DOS box keys, I theoretically at this point could hit some combination of keys uh, to slow down the computer so that the clock itself would run slower, and that that would not be particularly a fair way to solve the game, but I imagine that that's definitely how a lot of people did it. It's just underclock their CPU. I don't know if an ant, though, would actually ever turn into an interesting mascot character. You could you could do it, but it, it would be a little bit difficult. We are now in the next section, which there's something to be said for that. Um, what do we want to do? Hmm. I guess what we have to do is put things where they should be before the timer runs out which the little ear covering explosion animation he makes makes that more difficult and I have to fall down also so I have to be careful about that fastest move it's like it's just too late fastest move is you gotta push this then be standing over this so you can fall fairly fast then you need to put push this here push this here push this or put this here I shouldn't be saying the word push I should be saying the word put You gotta put down that, which means you really won't be standing in the right place to fall down that one. Then move that, and then that, and that. Once again, a puzzle is so much more around 
timing than actually solving where something goes. Whereas if there were just holes, if you had started with a solution, which would be a great way to design this game, start with a solution and then, uh, then just remove a few pieces here and there and then give an inventory of five or six specific types of dominoes, that would be a fairly easy way to solve the puzzles. Okay. Now, what do we want to do here? <sighs> Seriously? I think I messed myself up. Kind of no reason, but we'll see if this works. Hmm. Alright. There, there was a bit of information in that that was helpful. And then you have this giant door in the top right corner that's just decorative. And just a scaled up version of the smaller door animation. Alright. What I think we want to have happen is to delay, delay, delay. How can we delay? Though, I mean, that generally solves most of the problem, except for the fact that, that the Tumbler, red dice, the red domino still won't stop in time. So how do we stop that one? I think what we do is I think we have to make a mad rush here and try and beat normal dominoes following through several paths. Can we do it? Like, it's questionable. Questionable, but we managed it. Again, though, just every single solution almost is a action solution. They should have made an action game. And I guess in the spin-off sequel to this game, One More Step or One Step Beyond, they really did just make an action game, so I guess they went in the right direction. Because in that, you are just jumping from platform to platform, and there is no real logic or elements of any major interest. This is just all over the place. I, I don't... I don't get it. Like, you start up here, you push and you knock down that, fine. But nothing's going to cause that to happen, so how am I supposed to get those two tumbler... tumbler... yeah. And I don't see how you even would have got, been able to get one tumbler to work. Let's see. Let's restart and see where we start. We start right here. So if we were to think, push this here, it's just going to crash. If we were to drop one I can get it one dropped sure but it's just gonna crash over there or crash somewhere else hmm. 
if I move this over here and then push it, they will just crash. Uh, and the, there's really nothing that would stop that from crashing. Hmm. When this moves, eventually, it's just going to fall down here. And when I fall down here, I die. So we, we know we need an explosion or we need to go down this, down here. And over here we have an explosion, which could be set I guess here. Hmm. But how in the world do we trigger that? I can definitely lengthen the launch of this. But only so far, really. And if these were just extra pieces you didn't have to play, if the rules of the game were different per puzzle, there might be an idea around that concept. Crashes. Crashes. And I wouldn't want to just immediately accuse the game of, of literally cheating, but I kind of want to accuse the game of immediately cheating and giving you a puzzle late into the game that that is impossible it would certainly feel better if i could just feel justified in making that accusation it's not probably true but it definitely would feel better to say oh no the game is actually cheating there's there's no way that, to solve this there's been no way to solve the other ones you've skipped those few select puzzles you've skipped are the ones that that were impossible yeah the only thing that makes sense is you've got to get one of these out somewhere you can put that there certainly and what else could we do? Hmm. I can't do anything about the top part. The top part just does its thing. Which kind of makes it seem impossible that I can get the tumbler domino above me it does seem just straight up impossible it also feels like there's just like no solution to getting the things below me and if I knocked over the things below me Time to quit. I, I couldn't care. Don't care enough. Don't care enough to do this. And apparently I missed a quaver at some point. Um, what puzzle were we at? Though. That's the question. 
just does not tell you at any point here. 28863 fortunately is puzzle 79 so let's put in puzzle 80 two eight nine two seven I feel like the codes that I have online are codes that were assembled from multiple people and so sometimes you have all the quavers sometimes you don't so that was puzzle 80 and so you, you're my only real hope is that the number 100 puzzle code has all the quavers because I'll probably end up cheating some more so 81 is 29 Four three nine. There, there's something about the backgrounds though here, where you could definitely have tried to put in some a cutscene of dialogue and kind of an overworld map that that showed that this is the the path that the ant is crossing to specifically ensure that it has solved uh, that it has collected all the curly quavers okay hmm so if I had some explosives I could get this one down here through a hole but I don't yeah and it, it would make a lot of sense if you went through kind of a anthill then a grassy area and then into like a house and then into like different layers of a house uh, all the way through an attic and then maybe into a castle um, you got like to the roof of the house and you saw that there was a, a castle that you you wanted would want to to search and then from the castle then you work your way towards like a space station and you just go higher and higher for an ant that would make a lot of sense um, and then and then there'd be some linearity to it where you just saw the ant every single time seeing another, another pack of curly quavers hmm. uh, that's that's not gonna work actually anyways so the trick here is you gotta drop this you've gotta run here you've gotta push this one this way just barely make it in time and what we're gonna do now is try to block this in hmm. yeah this is yet another puzzle that that is just missing and enough time to actually do it it would also be nice if the game had like a boss of some sort some sort of boss fight okay so we have a minute to try this so one one two three there we go and I think we'll see that I you did need to be exactly that close with it and yes, once again, this is just a very, very high action solution to what, to a game that sold itself as a puzzle game. With very tight time, 24 seconds extra. On 82. Let's see. Um. 
Got a whole bunch of stuff. The question is, where does the stuff go? Does that go there? Maybe. And then this. Maybe that is good enough. I don't think it is. I think... I think you probably need to have moved the delay. So you built some delay in. what I think you need to do is this go ahead and push that now we need a red bounce come on come on come on come on, come on. can we make it no is there a thing we could do otherwise I mean, I guess you could put this down here. Since it's not particularly needed up here. And then we need this here. And we need this here. I think that will solve it. I definitely don't like the giant door because it definitely does give the impression that you are going to be walking through that giant door and you never, I think, are. Okay. We could fall off and split here. Or we can take that further down. We need... Something to make a bridge here. Which means we need a tumbler here. Hmm. What else do we need? a ton of stuff at the bottom a ton of delays so we need the delays to to line up so we need this down this way let's hope that the push is the right move So this guy's going to do that, and he's going to do that. Can we rush fast enough to do that? And that worked, even though it didn't look like it actually worked to me. We've got 16 more puzzles. This one looks like a really fun one. Which, okay, that's nice and all, but then is there a good system here, or is this just going to take forever to put everything where it needs to go to try and get all of the little things to fall over? we've got a bit of a problem in that I don't know if all these will fall over hmm. Let's see oh. 
lot of moving of things. This almost certainly is one where you'd end up using a token. Let's see. And there. Hmm. You might need a delay. A few places and we might have one splitter more than is normal hmm. and any small mistake here could can't be rewound where if you had like a time rewind mechanism similar to the uh, Prince of Persia Sands of Time series that would be fairly useful It'd be a very very powerful technology for a simplistic puzzle game but wouldn't be hard to do frankly like it you could fairly easily program every step that's being shown uh, and just have the player step back and rewind in time. In fact, I imagine the DOSBox emulator itself might have that rewind functionality and plenty of other emulators do. Where you can just rewind the the executions of the of the program itself. Of course that's because this is a very old game and more modern games would take more processing than that. Okay. So we've got one last problem. It may not be a huge problem but we'll see. We'll solve it probably cheating in a way they didn't expect by just getting if I can and it's just like two buttons you have to press left and right do that I'll just knock one off the edge and you can kind of feel a lowering of the frame rate hmm So yeah, there was, there was a mistake there, not enough of a delay, but this probably is a puzzle that actually proves what went wrong with this game in development. Uh, if I, if something did go wrong, I would suspect this is a case of actually PCs of the time were not capable of rendering let's face it the 30 dominoes that are here all falling at a somewhat similar time and all the puzzles probably had to be rethought and rewritten with that in mind so that they were much more linear and theoretically I guess each one of these is its own separate little function uh, when it splits and having multiple threads uh, just use a token multiple threads in a old DOS based PC is probably not likely to happen it, if anything it was a, a 46 maybe had two threads maybe but I, I don't think so no I, I think 486s were single threaded computers so there was a lot of interrupt programming if you know what that means so basically, when one set of dominoes wants to fall, it's saying, okay, we're going to knock one domino in this thread out, and then we're going to pause and see if anybody else wants to knock any dominoes, and then they would just go in circles uh, in, until they've all fallen. Oh, I can't, I can't even tell you how to solve this. Wow. 
man, just one look at this and it's just like, oh, I give up. Let's start cheating right, right away. It's, is this the puzzle that we had already done or is there like a slight difference to this? Or had we seen this puzzle before? Or is it the I seriously would doubt that the game is changing things. Uh, no, this is this is a different puzzle. It's just extremely, extremely similar to the one we had done before. doing here seems like we're wasting our time seems like there's just a crazy amount of stuff move around in this right section Okay, I think I've got it. But I will say I, I don't really appreciate the idea of them copying a puzzle just to stretch it to an even 100. Considering all the other puzzles seem to have done a fairly good job about being different. I'm just hoping this works. Everything counts and everything works. good because that would have definitely been annoying to go any further yeah and we are at a point where let's go ahead and just quit we, we are at a point where these recordings are getting fewer and fewer numbers of puzzles accomplished per recording but that was pretty much to be expected for basically any puzzle game that the puzzles would get more difficult unfortunately there is still four or five of them we skipped over and for real people who don't have the codes in front of them to skip that the game becomes an absolute no-go as a recommendation for that simple fact like uh, there's probably hundreds of games that I have played and I imagine dozens upon dozens of games that an average gamer has played where they've just hit a frustration point and given up and never gone back to it. Um, point, point and click adventure games often were like that if you didn't have the guidebook or the hints or somebody to tell you the solutions. Uh, entire friendships in the past were created and maintained based on who knew the solution to certain games. Uh, in in my youth in the times of my youth at least uh, and I am super super happy that games are not made this way uh, I am super happy that effectively games are dumbed down and that they hold your hand and that you can actually finish them because there's no other art medium that is quite like video games that's interactive and potentially um, obtuse like, if somebody painted a, like, surreal painting, like a Salvador Dali painting, and you don't get it, you don't get the meaning that he's trying to Im imbue in it, or perhaps, more importantly, you don't get any meaning from what you're looking at, 
okay, that's pretty obtuse, but you're not very interactive with that, so you can just stop looking at the painting and move on to looking at something else. But if you're reading a book, you're interacting with the book, and you kind of need to be able to get to the end of it. If you can't read the language of the book, yeah, that's unacceptable. Or if parts of the book are encoded, that would be unacceptable in most cases. Uh, TV and movies are by far the most dumbed-down uh, type of media and they work very well because all you have to do is passively watch those and as long as you understand the language enough to to get a general meaning of what's going on the, then they provide their entertainment format uh, but nothing l except for video games literally stops throwing its art in front of your face like, movies don't pause when you don't understand it unless you press the pause button. Uh, books don't have their future pages turn magically blank if you didn't understand the previous chapter. TV doesn't stop broadcasting if you didn't understand the, uh, the previous episode. Uh, video games, on the other hand, totally lock you into solving whatever puzzle, whatever challenge... A lot of times particularly old games used to do that and there's no easy way to skip it and I'm basically saying the same thing over and over again but I'm trying to get across across the idea that yeah that is a problem and if this was a modern game doing this I would definitely rage quit it honestly I would rage quit this game if it weren't for the fact that I had the codes and I know that we only have 60 like 14 more puzzles to go anyways anyways that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a bunch of links down below and if you want to support me further there's a link to patreon or you can friend me on steam and gift me a game off my wish list thank you for watching have a good evening